Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing a new game on the channel. This is a demo of Earthless, uh, which is currently available during the current Steam Next Fest until uh, October 16th. I don't know if the demo will remain available after that, uh, but it's certainly available currently. And it's uh, it's kind of a, a deck-building roguelite type thing, along the lines of Slay the Spire, but with a very good sci-fi theme, I think, uh, that's kind of also got elements reminiscent a bit of something like FTL, perhaps? Uh, but it does a lot of things different to the sort of usual uh, deck builder format, which I found really interesting, and actually I really enjoyed this. So let's dive in and have a look. So first of all, there's going to be, I guess this is going to be in the full game, you get a choice of three factions, but we've only got one that's unlocked for the demo. And when you click on the faction you want to play, you get three starting abilities for your vessel. Uh, we'll get into what these various things mean, but I used Asimov class in my, my playthrough. Uh, which means you draw three cards, which cost zero energy for the encounter. That's pretty good. Um, but I'm going to try Vern class for this one, so we'll get into what heat is in a, in a moment. But uh, gaining the three energy is pretty good as well. Uh, you can play a tutorial. I've disabled it. So let's just uh, go in and we'll talk through you know, the various gameplay elements as we go. I really like the aesthetic for this as well. I guess with something like Starfield coming out and coining the term NASA Punk, I'd probably put this a little bit in that category, but also a little bit like the original aliens, like the sort of technology they had at their disposal as well, or alien, I should say, uh, which I think is really cool. And it looks like a pretty randomized map. This is quite different to my first playthrough. We've got different, we sort of start here and we can choose the route that we take. Uh, these red ones are like combat encounters. We also have just some like story events, uh, things we can salvage to sort of make our own cards or other things. Um, there's other elements at play here, but we'll get we'll get to those gradually as we play. Uh, let's jump straight into the first combat encounter. So there's our ship, and we teleport into a little map. Uh, so this is us. We've got 40 health currently. Uh, this is the exit where we're going to get to, and we've got an e one enemy uh, in our way. It's Lusk Grunt. So the idea of this game is that humanity's had to, had to leave Earth, and we've gone to a new solar system, new galaxy I think, and when we've got there there's this hostile alien species already, already there um, who we've got to, got to fight against. It's a little bit like Mass Effect Andromeda in that regard I suppose. But anyway, so we see here we've got four energy, so in the top left we can see cards have different amounts of energy cost. Uh, the attack cards also come with a range, which we'll get into momentarily. Uh, there's also something called heat, which I did mention. And when you click on your ship, you can see its movement range. So let's move forward two squares. And for each square you move, you generate a, a level of heat. Um, there are cards... It, it, it'll decrease at the rate of one pip per turn. But there are cards that can also reduce it. And also, as we've seen, our special ability, which is on this meter here. So that's going to charge uh, over time. Let's use this card first of all. This is zero cost, a free card, and we'll get to draw two cards. We have to discard one, but basically we'll end up with a net gain. Um, oh, I didn't see this card in my playthrough. Deal damage equal to your shield amount. Lose all overcharged shields. Interesting. Um, oh, I don't have any shield. I could gain shield, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just discard that for now. And we gained gain three shield, deal four damage to all units in range. That's pretty cool. Uh, but what we probably want to do is move forward another one. And then use this card, so it's going to get rid of these uh, asteroids that are currently blocking our way. There we go, we've got a shield as well. If you hover over the enemy craft, it will tell you what their intention is on their turn. It currently doesn't have one because we're just sort of out of range and it's programmed to not, not chase us in this first level, really. Uh, we can move forward another square. Oh, that's good. This is because we destroyed the asteroids. This square says uh, debris cover. Units in this tile take one less damage from all sources, which is pretty cool. Three energy left. Um, to be honest, I probably just I'll stick the shields on, and we'll end our turn. Here we go. We see our shields are back down to zero. Uh, I'm going to play the card to lose some heat, because then we can move forward another couple of tiles, and we can see I've got. A bunch of these attack cards now, I can actually play them all. Uh, this unit has four shield of its own, so if I play one of these, we should see that it will go down to one shield. You can actually see in the preview that does what ex is expected. This one should take it to two health, so we can see that it does. Enemy shields are down. And then we can do that. Enemy okay. unit destroyed. 
and he's gone. So we can move forward again. We had the heat available. Let's just end the turn. We can see the ship ability meter is only at 9%, so I think that's something that's going to charge over different uh, encounters. Uh, is there anything to get rid of my heat? There isn't, but I can play this and maybe we'll draw our heat card. No. Uh, well, I've got another one of these, though. Let's see if I draw it. Yes. Okay, good. So let's play the vent heat. And it's given us the movement just to get to the end. There we go. And that was a very, very basic opening uh, encounter. There was, it gets... Uh, a, there's a lot more to it in the, in the other sort of combat encounters I played. But we could, at the end of a, a fight, we can choose one of three card rewards. So Haywire Missile Launch. One cost, deal four damage. And a combo is when this card is played after another card. You can play Vulnerable, so they take extra damage. And Crippled, so they cannot move, so that's quite a good one. This is an equipment card, so with equipment cards you kind of mount them onto your ship when they appear, but they only last for four turns. Gain one overcharge when you enter a tile. Applies bonus damage equal to the number of stacks on your next attack. So the more you move, the more sort of bonus damage you're doing. That's quite nice. And this is a two cost card. Deal three damage. If target is below 50% health, deal six damage. If you destroy the target again, so this is quite a nice finisher. And it's a three range. I might actually take that. Just kind of keep us in the action a little bit more. So now we can choose which path we're going to take. And they, they intersect a lot, so you don't sort of lock yourself off too much of alternative paths if you choose a different way. Um, whichever way we go, we're going to end up in at least at least one encounter. So we could do a transmission or a salvage. Let's do the salvage site. We go to a different screen here. Captain, we have located the remains of another human spacecraft. We can salvage for parts to upgrade our ship or repair our hull. I think that's supposed to be... Well, it's supposed to be ore, I think, really, because you can only do one of these, but we don't have any hull damage, so we're going to salvage for parts. We can make a skill card to give plus five shield to ourselves. Uh, this is a cost two card. Add a tactical strike card to the top of your deck. Now, they're quite good. Or a proton top of I used these in my uh, first run, and I actually really like this card, so I'm going to take that, and we'll see what it does soon. But we can go into our crafting tab here, and we can see we've got a certain number of resources up here, supplies and rations, and water. And to craft this card is going to take us 20 supplies and 10 rations, but we can afford that. So we click on it, and we're going to craft that card. You can also upgrade cards here, but we can't currently do that. And you can recycle cards, too. Um, you can do that. Hang on, if I... I can't do that yet. So if I come out of here, it tells us we can recycle a card in one. So we'll just wait until we're able to do that. But we can have a choice of one to go to. So we're going to go to our next fight. We've got some different craft here. So we've got this one, which is a Lusk Overseer Support Unit. You can apply Vulnerable to player, and we'll also give allies firepower and heal them. Um, we can inspect it as well, look at some, what some of these things mean. So it's going to do 2 damage, it can repair 4 hull to a friendly target. Um, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's not nice. But it's also, it's quite, it's got shields, but it's not that tanky. So what can we do? I've got lots of shield cards. Deal 4... I mean, I could rush in and, like, go here and use this card, but, like... It would only it would only remove their shields, and I think they recharge them after a turn. It's not a great opening hand, honestly. Um, but you can only play the cards you're dealt, as they say. So let's do that. Let's uh, do that. We'll gain shield ourselves doing this. I'm, I'm well. I'm interested to see if they will recharge their shields. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent on that. But I'm going to give myself all the available shields because we're going to get attacked. <laughs> hey, now we've got our firepower. Uh, so this one is good. It will. I kind of want to target this one first. Let's get rid of those shields on both of those. 
That one's not much good to us. So I might do this battlefield analysis and see what else we get. Uh, yeah, let's lo let's lose the shield blast. I don't actually have any shields on this turn. Um, it's actually a shame because it's not below. It's not below fifty percent health, is it? So I think we'll do. Mm, well, we definitely want to get rid of that one. We're going to take some hits now. Well, not well. I can move one, but it probably won't benefit us a great deal. Okay. Um. Kill that one. Target destroyed. And I want to see if it recharges its uh, shield. I think this one did, so I think they do do that. Uh, but this is a debris cover, so we'll go in there and we'll take less damage anyway. But I don't think they can penetrate our shields in this attack. It actually didn't regenerate its shields, so that's good. Oh, actually, we don't necessarily need to vent the heat. I might use the proton torpedo again, get rid of those shields. Damage that one. Then we could we did shields up. Shields activated. We could come here and do our shield blast. Oh. did that. We actually don't have any other free cards in our deck, so it was a bit pointless. Ah, uh, I think as an action it can regenerate its shields then. That's, that must be what that is. Uh... I think we do that again. I'll do this, because if I get another torpedo, I can kill it. Uh, sadly not. So let's just stick our shields up. Shields up. Let me move back into the debris field as well. Uh, so fairly simple. Moving. Let's hit it with a torpedo. And now the exit's opened up, so we can go and do that, although I can't... Car oh, I can lose two heat, though. We can get to, say, there. Oh, no. Do that again, and then we should be able to hit the exit. Here we go. Yeah, let's open our reward pack. Railgun shot. So it's a two-cost... Uh, ah, indirect line AoE, armor-piercing, deal six damage. That sounds really good, doesn't it? I guess it's probably only going to be in straight lines, maybe? That sounds good. That's a retain card. So that's kind of something that can be on hand until we need it. I'm going to try this out. I didn't play that card, have that card before, so I'm interested to use it. Okay, so again we've got a choice here. We could go to a point of interest. Let's, let's do the point of interest. So here's where our crew comes into play, and we'll talk a little bit about our crew after this. Uh, gunnery officer. Captain, we've collected intact Lusk pearls during our last encounter. I'd like to request that priority be given to research these pearls, or researching these pearls, for improving our combat capabilities. This is our science officer chiming in. Captain, the research team has been waiting for an opportunity to take a close look at the Lusk's anatomy. There's a significant chance these pearls will aid medical advancement. And then we've got to choose which one we're going to do, and if we choose one, the combat capabilities, we can see that our chief engineer, gunnery officer, and navigation officer all get like a, a morale boost, but our science officer takes a morale hit. But if we do the other one, uh, the science and communication officers get a morale boost, and then the chief engineer and gunnery officer take a morale hit. So I'm actually going to use them to improve our combat capability. And we've received a missile launch card as a result of that. Now, if you click on this tab, it takes us to our crew manifest. 
And here we can see our various uh, crew members. They have... I'm not... The, they each have a trait. I haven't seen how that actually uh, like manifests. Maybe that's something they'll bring in at some point, or maybe I just haven't noticed yet. But human supremacist. Chief engineer is stoic. Gunnery officer, compassionate. A compassionate gunnery officer is interesting. Gregarious comms officer. Well, that makes sense. And a pessimistic navigation officer. Uh, but if we click on the ones we just... Hmm. It's weird. They should have got a morale boost or a morale hit. I'm not quite sure why that hasn't affected. Uh, but let's go into transmission. Oh, we could recycle a card as well. You should do that when it when it's uh, available. So here are our cards. We can recycle any one of these. Um, and just... Yeah, get rid of them from our deck. It's good to keep a tight deck because then, you know, your favoured cards come out more often. And I was thinking I might get rid of the shield blast because I don't know, I'm just not using it because I'm not really getting that much shields. Yeah, so I think I'll recycle that. Yeah. Right, let's go to transmission now. Captain, we received data from the other colony ships that will allow us to improve the function of our crew. The signal bandwidth is weak and limits our data throughput. However, we are only able to receive enough data to upgrade one of our officers. So again, we can upgrade our officers. So, if you are at max heat, deal an additional two damage. That's interesting because we can manage that quite easily. Every time you lose hull, repair a hull. At the start of the encounter, gain three overcharged. Ship sensors now reveal unit type. Okay. If you're adjacent to an enemy, you lose a heat. I, I like this one because it's not that difficult to put ourselves at max heat. Ah, that, that changed their morale. Heat transfer, yeah. So maybe it's crew upgrades. So if we go into this tab now... Uh, oh. I'm not quite sure why their morale's not showing. It did before. <laughs> In my last run. Uh, but as I said, this is a, a pre-early access demo, so very, very early stage. I think it's really polished for, for that. Now these tiles are contaminated. When units end their turn on this tile, they gain three contaminated. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm guessing it's like a, like a poison effect or something like that. Uh, all these are like sort of alien rail guns, these ones. Speaking of, we can use ours now, so... Yeah, so I think we choose one direction it can go in. What it's really doing is losing their shields, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's just come out of that. If I was wondering if we can sort of maximize. If we were, say, here, we could do it through... Oh, no, that's not right. No, they're not quite on a diagonal, are they? But they will move. See, these ones are moving. Hmm. Well, I think we use our rail gun. Let's get rid of its shields. Enemy shields down. Uh, I can get a missile on it. I do oh, this. Yeah. This isn't a contaminated tile, so if I go here... I uh, will fire a missile at it. Enemy unit destroyed. There we go. Because we were at full heat, we did the extra two damage that was required to actually kill it, which was pretty cool. I'd actually forgot, I'd already forgotten that we'd picked that ability up, but that was it uh, in action, and it was quite cool. Uh, we can't move, see, it's, these are it, see, these are the rail guns of their own going, so we want to move out of this square, basically. Well, let's just do this. Yeah, I think we could probably lose one of our missile launches. Can't move on the diagonal because of this, I guess. Actually, no, they only move in straight lines, so I can't move diagonal anyway. Got to move, though, so I guess we go here. How much damage do they do? Six damage. Yeah, you want to you want to avoid these things. This thing's quite strong. Enemies have their max hull increased by four. Okay, yeah, so some levels have these little extra modifiers. And if you do this 
little drop down, you can see what bonuses you're getting from your crew. That's pretty cool. I've only just noticed that. Uh, this is range three. Can't really hit much. I might get rid of this, though. There's not much I can sort of hit. I mean, I'll put the shields on. Shields are off. Nothing else is out of range. So let's just end the turn. These squares don't have contamination anymore. That's interesting. really love to launch something there. Um, but that's our current range. I think I just got to move. Pour shield on. Oh, I can shoot that asteroid. That'll give us a little protective square, so we may as well do that. This proton torpedo would be good, because if we move one square, which would mean we could launch it there, it would be doing six damage. Moving out. I think that's worth doing, because we can tank the, uh, the damage they're going to put on us. Just take, do all of that. We've actually... Oh no, it's it's firing is still there. Well, we want to gain... Well, we want to use both of these on our shields now, because we're going to take that railgun shot. And these are both in play now. I mean, we could use this and kill that one, so I think that's probably the play. We don't even need the extra damage from the heat. Let's just do that. Let's lose two heat because that's going to give us a bit more mobility. We can go here and go on this debris square. We're clear of contamination. I'm going to shoot at us. I can gain four shield. Tempted to do this. Target shields are down. Okay, we're gonna take some damage. Target shields are down. Shields rendered ineffective. Um next time we salvage, I think I'm gonna have to take the health. Oh the the objective here is just to reach the exit. I didn't even notice that until now. Well, I and mean, if we go here, we can kill both of these. Hostile unit eliminated. Enemy unit destroyed. I think we just gain the shield. These things are going to be fairly easy to avoid, so. Uh, just make that. Taking position. Might as well gain some shield. Can't hit that yet. Okay, let's lose some heat. Let's do that. Unit eliminated. Shield, and we'll be out of here next time. There we go. Mjolnir strike, one cost. Gain a heat, deal five damage. Apply two. That's pretty good because we're kind of building into a we want maximum heat. Take two whole non lethal damage, gain three energy. No, I think we want this one. 
straight into another fight, which isn't ideal. Our, our health is getting quite low, uh, but we c mm. we're going to have a salvage before the boss. Uh, okay. Enemies have plus four hull. Uh, I didn't see the others. Attacks and skills targeting the player will put a sensor overload in their pile. Destroying an enemy will deal two damage to adjacent units. That's quite, that's in our favor. So these things will spawn other units. And we've got to destroy them, that's the objective. Well, we've got all our big shots anyway. I got a range of two that. Can't do the Mjolnir. I could do the Proton Torpedo. Let's actually go here. And we can do these two. Oh, no, I can't do this one. I kind of forgot about that. Well, it goes through stuff. That's pretty cool. So we can do it this way. the proton torpedo here. We weren't at full end we weren't at full heat there. It's a bit annoying. What's that dropped? Ish. Okay, um We need to destroy this. Then we can go there. Let's gain a card. Get one of those. Don't know if it does diagonals this. Ah, it did. Shields activated. Let's do five damage on this. And then we'll gain a shield. So this time we can do... Ah, oh, we've lost some heat. Uh, if we come back here, we'll be in a debris field. And I can railgun this. Or it should be eight damage. Yep. Launch. This one as well. Target destroyed. This one is going to shoot at us. Uh, I can't destroy it in one hit. So we'll take the shield. stuff over there. Um, We're going in. Yeah. So we can deal Seven damage to this by vulnerable and weaken. So this should kill it. Unit eliminated. Uh, can actually hit that one. We can only go here. Our range. See what we can get. Nothing that really helps. Uh, so I'll destroy this though, so it gives us an extra place to go for a bit of protection. May as well have the shield.
interestingly, my ultimate's set ready now. Um, but because <laughs> because the way we're doing damage, that well, lose three heat and gains. Let's do that. We've lost our heat, but we can go to say here and regain it all. One in hand, take one hull damage each time you play a card. Oh. Oh, wow, that's not good. Anyway, I was going to do the rail gun to go through these two. Enemy shields down. Um, we can do our proton torpedo and hit all of these things. I've actually, it's going to kill this one right in front of us. Target destroyed. Still got this thing. That's going to shoot at us. Not sure what that one's doing. Probably doing its shields again. Well, let's so let's build up our shields. Oof, we're really low. Um, I'm going to lose the heat, and I'm going to go into the debris field. Shields down. How much did that hit us for? Anyway, um. What does this do? Sensor overload, what does it do? Maybe, maybe it's just a blocking card that kind of just fills our deck, we don't want it. should be a kill. Oh no, I just realized that's going to hit me. Target shields are down. Yeah, they're killing me. Um, but I've got enough energy to gain enough shield to mitigate that. I think we'll take damage if we play that, so let's not. Funny, in my first run, I didn't lose any hull. <laughs> this one's been far less successful in that regard. Uh, gonna shoot me again. Only this one is. Be able to do something about Enemy it. Enemy unit destroyed. How did I take damage there? What? Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? I, did, I totally forgot about that. That's probably killed me. hull and a lot of that was avoidable I think uh, let's deplete okay for every two attack cards in a turn lose one we don't want that one that one might be quite good because we are moving a lot I need to go well, I mean, either way, we're going to hit a salvage. But let's try the point of interest. Captain, with the research team discovered that Lusk Pearls can discharge energy, energy into other vessels, we can manipulate the pearls to function as a new energy source. I'd like to request a priority upgrade of our engine core. It's sorely needed. Weapons. Uh, engine. Weapons. An engine upgrade. Power surge. Not sure what that does. Let's go into card recycle, though. What does that? 
this one. Gain two heat, gain ten shield, apply ten overshield. That's this is really good. We want this. Uh, I might get rid of one of the basic missile launches at this point. Salvage, we're going to take the 15 hull health on this 100%. Yep. So we've got 18 out of 40 going into the boss. This could be interesting. Yeah, the boss encounter's the same. So this thing, uh, it's got 60 health. But we have to take down these turrets before we can damage its, its sort of health. And they either shoot at you, or if you're too far to be shot at, they spawn an uh, enemy of craft. So it's quite nasty, really. Moving out. So I'm going to lose two heat. Get here. Okay. I could have done that, couldn't I? restart the fight. No. <laughs> um, that's a shame because I really wanted this. If I play it now it's going to hurt me. But we, could see, we could see how the extra heat thing plays out. Actually it didn't hurt me. So that's good. So what are they going to do? That's going to hit me lot of stuff coming in. So this is going to kill this gun. So we're still taking a lot of damage unfortunately. Oh, not as much as I thought I was. But these, these reappear as well, so I've got two turns to try and just unload da damage into this thing. These aren't amazing damage cards, honestly. I think I, do, I think I do that. So we'll do the proton one, and that'll take out that turret as well. So we've done a bit of damage to the main ship now. Uh, well, this isn't going to apply, but... See, we're getting hit for three now. We've also got these things coming in, though, which are a bit annoying. I think we do this, though. Okay, this one doesn't really apply. We're not going to move a lot now. We come here. Let's use that. Let's use our railgun shot as well. It's hitting that, but doesn't it look like it's damaging this? It's kind of what I wanted. I thought it might. Okay, well, we have to do that here. <clears throat> Not doing too bad. It's basically at half health, and we haven't taken any damage yet. I think I might do this though. Alright, we'll definitely discard that. And. Yeah, we're gonna take damage, so let's put, our sh let's put shields on here. Okay, they've contaminated these squares now, so we don't want to, end we don't want to end our turn here. still damage this because uh, we put the turret down. Ship's clear of 
contaminated area. Gotta heat up. Um more energy. So what we do? Um I think we do this first. Kill that turret again. Enemy shields down. I can't damage this now. Why is that? And I'm going to put the force shield on because I think at least one of these is going to be hitting us, I think. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, wait, let's do this because we can get rid of that overheat card straight away. We have got our rail gun. So that means we can actually get out of this contamination and attack zone. And if we end up here, we can actually shoot the boss. Uh, like this. I think I might just sh shoot that to give us a square to kind of retreat to. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, let's just do shields up then. That's a bit of a safe square. I can't get there. Got a proton torpedo. Okay, let's just gonna we're probably just gonna have to end in a in. contaminated square. But we can still attack this thing. So if we do this. That'll get those little craft as well. It's down to 11 health. Uh, I think we put it all into shields. I actually do have nine shields. If we get rid of these, then give myself some more shields. I wonder if we use this just to kind of like retreat for now. Maybe we do this first. We're clear of contamination. Enemy shields are down. I'm going to do this. So, we can get rid of this turret. Open for damage again. Can't do that this time. Yeah, go into the debris field, stick our shields on. And I think that's it for now. Oof, we got two of these things. Let's just think, have I got enough to do it? If I go here...
Go here. We're clear of contamination. Lose two heat. Now go here. Uh, let's use this. And now we've got it. I think. Yeah, this is the kill. Enemy unit destroyed. Pretty close thing, though. Got down to nine hull. Although we only lost nine in the boss battle. And there we go. That was the demo. Uh, so yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a really cool um, deck builder, roguelite type thing. I mean, it's got a really good aesthetic. I think it feels really good to play. Uh, you know, it's got some interesting uh, little spins on the formula that uh, that add to the game. They don't detract from it. Uh, having these little turn-based battle type things is yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, as I said, it's available during the current next fest. So. Um, you know, check out the demo for yourself if you like the look. But this is one I've added to my wish list, and um, I think I'll definitely be checking it out when it goes into early access next year. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this game. Is it something that you might check out yourself? Is it something you've heard of before and uh, been keeping an eye on? You know, let me know. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you could do so. So thanks very much once again, and I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dad Gaming for other games, other playthroughs. Bye for now.